Welcome to Scary Stories with Dad. Tonight's scary story. Scary story. Scary story. Is Daddy's home. Daddy's home. This is one of the best saved for the tenant over set, as it's a little bit more graphic than the rest of the stories. There is no way of toning it down to make it more appropriate for younger kids. Do you both accept this disclaimer before I continue? No. 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 <laughs> no. I shall continue. No. <laughs> a man and his young teenage son live together in a small house on the outskirts of town. The lot their house sat on was large and overgrown with tall hedges blocking the house from the street. One day the man left an overnight on an overnight business trip, but took his son's phone's charger his son's phone charger by mistake. As a result, neither the boy nor his father could charge their phones. Both phones were fully charged at first, but the man was delayed on his way home, and by midnight on the second day, both phones were dead. <laughs> it was just after this that the boy heard a knock on the front door. He was a sensible boy and knew not to open the door to strangers. Instead, he looked out his bedroom window onto the drive to see who was there. <laughs> the boy saw his father's car in the drive, but he could not see the front door from his room. He went downstairs and looked through the peephole in the door to see who was there. He could see his father on the other side of the door looking back at him and the boy reached up to open the door. But something stopped him. Dad, the boy called out, why are you knocking on the door? Did you forget your keys? The boy <laughs> waited, but there was no reply. Just another knock on the door. Dad, the boy called out again, why don't you just open the door and come in? But again, there was no reply. Instead, there was just a steady, rhythmic knocking on the door, which began to get faster and faster. The boy's dad was knocking constantly on the door, waiting for him to open it up, when he suddenly stopped and there was no sound at all. The boy looked through the peephole again. His dad was still there. So he decided to open it up. When he opened the door, he discovered his dad's head taped to the door in the front of the peephole and a trail of bloody footprints leading down the drive. The end. Why aren't you two saying anything? Are you okay?